Hello, Mitchketeers, and how's it going? And welcome to Bud Leaf's World. Um, today, I just want to talk about life's little moments, right? We all have them. Sometimes they're good, sometimes bad, but you always got to take the bad with the ugly. But what about the embarrassing moments, right? The things we don't tell anybody that happens to us makes us feel a little bit uncomfortable, and we feel like, what the hell? And then we don't tell anybody. Guess what? I had one of those uncomfortable moments today, and I wanted to share that with you, my fellow Mitchketeers, all right? You ready for this? So um, I, I'm warning you now. It's pretty, uh, you know, in there and out there, and I don't know if anybody else has this problem, but for me, it made me feel a little bit uncomfortable, and I just wanted to see if I could get a little bit of feedback of other people who might feel the same way. Uh, women, I have no idea if it works the same way, but there's this thing that guys have about, you know, about this, and I'm just going to jump right in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I'll go to the men's room today, go to the urinal, do my business, and there's a thousand other urinals next to me that are completely open. Nobody on them. The guy decides to walk into the urinal, walks in, stands, and goes right next to me. Now, you know, I was taught that there's always a one urinal in between room between every time somebody is, you know, going. But this guy decided to go just right next to me. Now, I am a big guy. I'm not like this small guy, but this guy, he was just right there on me. And then, to make things even more awkward, the guy starts talking to me like, hey, what's up, man? And I'm looking at him like, what? So I ignore the guy, right? So, because I'm trying to, you know, do my thing. And he continues like, well, let me tell you about my wife, my kid, and, and all this stuff. And proceeds to have this full-blown conversation with me, which was like maybe like 20 seconds, at the urinal. I'm like, dude, get the hell out of here, bro. I gotta finish my thing and go back to work or something. Man, I'm not here to talk. I'm here to do my business. Get the hell out of here. Well, look, I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know if there's anybody out there that feels the same way. Uh, it's just like in Harold and Kumar when they... <laughs> I think it's Kumar goes out to the bush to go to to go do his business and then some dude comes out of nowhere and stands right next to him and he starts going and Kumar's like, what, you know, what are you doing, bro? And he's like, what, you own this bush? <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, well, if you have any comments, feedback on it, I'd really like to hear it and uh, see how you would have reacted under that situation. And uh, stay tuned. I'm going to bring you one of these, uh, hopefully every day, <laughs> um, about life's little moments that happens to me. And hopefully you can share your feedback on your little moment. So feel free to comment below. I would like to hear it all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, my fellow Munchketeers.